This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 15, and verse 11. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. Egypt shall mourn, verse 12, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that the most high power, Yahweh, shall bring upon it. Shalom, Kohaloyam, Wahawa, La, Yahweh, Bahasim, Yahweh, the Wada, Yahweh, Bahasim, Yahweh, for the gift of the Rakakwadas, the Holy Spirit. Double honors are going out to the venerable apostles of the Great Millstone, along with the elders who rule well through the Spirit. Salutations, peace, and blessings be unto the Bayaf, the Wada, that is the house of David, the elect. From Shemar Moth, quick prophecy. In short, okay, off of End Times headlines. Article published today, November 21, 2022. The year of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah turning up. And you can read the headline New tick borne disease is wiping out cattle. It's <clears throat> like it in the U.S., which the U.S. is known in the scriptures, among other things, as Egypt. Okay. Matter of fact, you know, um, let me read it in um, Revelation 11. Revelation chapter 11. Where we, we, where we are over here, okay, this place that we grew up calling America, okay, this is, this is also Egypt in the spiritual sense, all right, as well as, you know, Babylon the Great and Sodom, all right. This is uh, Revelation chapter 11, and then I'll get into this article real quick. This is going to be real short. Revelation chapter 11, and verse 8, it's going to be a quick prophecy update, okay? Revelation chapter 11 and verse 8, and their dead bodies, this is talking about the Israelites, all right? Because we were dead, okay, over here in this land, spiritually, all right? And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, okay, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, all right? It says where our Lord, it's like it, where also our Lord was crucified, all right, or X'd out because we grew up, you know, following after so-called white Jesus, all right, Caesar Borgia, all right? That's the image that was presented to us. That's who we grew up thinking the Messiah was, okay? So Esau, Edom, all right, beginning with Amalek, the small hats, the 1948ers, they've been crossed out, the true image of the Messiah, his people, all right, the angels, all right, and the Lord himself, all right? So this is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. You know it's Sodom, I mean, it, you know, and, and that was judgment what happened at Club Q out in Colorado Springs the other day too, all right, with all them Sodomites. You know, being wounded and, and killed, man. All right. Clearly, it's the Sodom and clearly it's Egypt. All right. And the same plagues that the Most High put on ancient Egypt, okay, back in the ancient world, those are coming to this new Egypt, man, this spiritual Egypt. All right. Again, which we grew up calling America. All right. So, again, off of, uh, in Times headlines, new tick-borne disease is wiping out cattle in the U.S. In the spring of 2021, Cynthia and John Grano, who own a cattle operation and sell performance horses in Culpeper County, Virginia, started noticing some of their cows slowing down and acting spacey. They figured the animals were suffering from anaplasmosis, a common infectious disease that causes anemia in cattle. But Melinda McCall, their veterinarian, had warned them that another disease carried by a parasite was spreading rapidly in the area. After a third cow died, the granos decided to test its blood. Sure enough, the test came back positive for the disease, thyleria. And with no treatment avail available, it's like the cows kept dying. Right, because th there is no treatment. When the Lord sends a plague on you, Okay, there is no remedy. You're not going to be able to come up with some kind of a, a medicine, all right, to stop it. 
Right? This is from on high. The, mo the most high, Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, he's done with America. All right. And again, the, the same plagues, all right, that, that, that riddled ancient Egypt are, are back, man. Okay. Because what was then is now. All right. It says in September, by which time the couple had already lost six cows and seven calves, Cynthia noticed a cow separated from the herd. She was walking up to it when it suddenly charged at her and knocked her over, <laughs> breaking her shoulder blade. By that afternoon, the cow was dead. Cattle owners like the Granos are not alone. Livestock producers around the country are confronting this new and unfamiliar disease if they can detect it in their herds at all without much information. Researchers still don't know how uh, thyleria will unfold in the United States, even as it quickly spreads west across the country. If states can't get the disease under control, then nationwide production losses from sick cows could significantly damage both individual operations and the entire industry. Thyleria, which is in the same family as malaria, is being transmitted largely through the Asian longhorn tick, an invasive, an invasive it's like a species first discovered in the U.S. in 2017. Yeah, this is from all high, man. There ain't no stopping this. The Lord is sending the plagues, right? The, the, the scripture says in 2nd Andrew 16, the Lord sends the plagues who can turn them back, okay? Let's go into Exodus and read about this again because this is nothing new, all right? There's no new thing under the sun. The plagues are back, man. And, and, and the most high is just getting, just getting started. Okay? Um, this is Exodus chapter 9 and verse 1. And it reads, Then the Lord Yahweh said unto Moses, Go in unto Pharaoh. All right, and Esau, again, beginning with Amalek, is the modern-day Pharaoh. All right, still got you Jakes. All right, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, natives, and Israelite foreigners. Subject to payments, man. Still still got you in captivity. All right. It says, Then the Lord, Yahweh said unto Moses, Go in unto Pharaoh and tell him, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, power of the Hebrews, let my people go, that they may serve me. For if thou refuse to let them go and wilt hold them still, behold, verse 3, The hand of the Lord, Yahweh, is upon thy cattle, which is in the field, upon the horses, Upon the asses, upon the camels, upon the oxen, and upon the sheep, there shall be a very grievous moraine, okay? And moraine is just an old English word. Matter of fact, I have the definition pulled up. Moraine, a noun meaning an infectious disease, especially babesiosis affecting cattle or other animals. In the archaic, a plague epidemic or crop blight right so this moraine is back man same thing the lord did all right to ancient egypt through moses his servant all right he's doing to america all right and the servants are pro and the servants and prophets of the lord are, are calling on the lord to do these things man you know and the lord is doing them all right it says um verse four and the Lord, Yahweh, shall sever between the cattle of Israel and the cattle of Egypt. See, the elect of Israel, again, you know, Yasharala, all right, being you so-called, so-called blacks, Hispanics, natives, and Israelite foreigners, all right, you're going to be okay, man, all right? This isn't going to uh, impact you. At the end of the day, the elect will be taken care of, it says, and there shall nothing die of all that is the children's of Israel, all right? So... Let's go back to this article. It's a quick read. Let's see. It says the tick. <clears throat> it's like the tick is native to Korea, China, Russia, and Japan. As it is spread in the U.S., so has thyleria, the disease which has been found in cattle in West Virginia, North Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, Pennsylvania, and Kansas. Some sale barns in Virginia saw the prevalence of thyleria increase from 2 to 20% in just two years. Thyleria can cause cows to abort their fetuses. It can also cause anemia so severe that a cow will die. 
in Australia, where the disease has been spreading since 2012 and now affects a quarter of the cattle, the Liria cost the beef industry an estimated $19.6 million a year in reduced milk and meat yields, according to a 2021 paper. And this is also, you know, so obviously this is, this is going to lead to a beef shortage, okay, and a, a milk shortage, all right, aka the famine, man, all right, the Lord is calling for a famine in this land. All right. Same as he did again in ancient Egypt. All right. It says in Japan and Korea, the combined loss is an estimated $100 million annually. Kevin Lawrence, an associate professor at Massey University who studies Thyleria in New Zealand, says that the country has managed to avoid abortions because 95% of cows calve in the spring. They're the same season he's seen Thyleria infecting cows. In the U.S., however, calving season can be year-round. Quote, I think in America you're going to see abortions, end quote, he says. Quote, you're going to see deaths, end quote. Yeah, man, so the, the Most High is wreaking havoc on Babylon, wreaking havoc on the cattle. All right, wreaking havoc on you sodomites, okay? You, you moes, all right, you rainbow people. All right, he's wreaking havoc, on, wreaking havoc on you. And... You know, again, he's bringing he's bringing famine to America. You know, he's bringing famine to America. We've been saying it for years and years and years through the power and spirit of Yahweh by Yahweh Shai. Okay, beginning with the elder apostles of the Great Millstone on down. Okay, so yeah, man, this this is uh, only going to continue. It's gonna it's gonna worsen. All right, it ain't gonna get better. So if you're one of the Lord's people and you haven't done so already. You better repent and believe this gospel because the kingdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is at hand. I don't want to write this out, Lord willing, he was edified. And with that, I want to say, Shalom.